On the surface, it might seem like love knows no age, but what happens when there is a 15 year age gap between a teenager and their older partner? Is it love or a trap? The story coming up is a video of a frustrated 26 year old woman that got married to her partner when she was 16. She currently has 6 kids and she came online to rant. Let's hear her story. If you're a young girl and you're dating an older guy, please be careful and do not have kids until you're like almost 30 um really weigh out your options and um date people closer to your age because older people tend to um be very manip manipulative and run game on you and they they play with your emotions and they drag you through the mud just because they know that you're more gull gullible and vulnerable i I've been with the same person since I was 16 years old. He is now 41 and I'm 26. We just had our sixth child back to back, okay? I'm one hell of a mom. I'm hands on. I'm always home with them. I'm always the, the parent that's doing everything while he's out doing whatever. I just gave birth to our sixth child and he literally did not come and support me through this traumatic experience, my father was here. And his reason was because I told him that he dogged me out during my entire pregnancy. He was not there, he was neglectful. No belly rubs, no bath, being ran, no consideration for my feelings, no empathy, no sympathy, no nothing. So he was like, finish it yourself. I'm like, you don't care about your son coming into the world and him being healthy and okay. And he's like, no, you can name whatever you want. I don't care. And I'm 26. I dedicated my whole life to wanting to be a good mom, giving him all of these kids, because he didn't have kids. When, you know, first got together, he was like 30 something, 32, 33, whatever. And um, I'm still gonna be one hell of a mom but it fucking hurts, like, it do. Uh, but life goes on, and this is not the end of the road for me. I'm hoping that um, sometime later down the line, because I don't want a relationship anytime soon, that I find a good person that can see the value in all of this, because people like to be very judgmental about situations like this. But if you're a young female, please date within your age. And don't give up your life so easy. Um, although I don't regret it for the sake of my kids. My kids are amazing and very fucking smart. Um, and very close. Um, if I can go back, I would have chose somebody closer to my age that wouldn't have drug me through the mud like he has. And there's just been a lot more to it. But this is just what I experienced today, and this was the nail in the coffin for me. Enough for me to be like, I'm never going to be with you again, and I'll take the six kids, and I'll figure it the fuck out. I've been already doing it by myself anyways. So, it is what it is. But that's my only message for today. And this is what I'm going to tell my daughters, too. Don't date anybody older than you. He's 15 years older than me. 14 years older than me, whatever. Same shit. Um, and I have been drugged through the mud and still believe in his words. The times that he's good, and the times that he's like, I'm going to try and I'm going to get my shit together and I'm sorry. And he never does. And he goes back to the same typical regular shit every time. So don't believe the bullshit. Don't believe the love, love bombing. Just do you. I wouldn't advise any teenager to be in such a situation. In that case, age is more than just a number, especially when one partner is struggling and trying to navigate life as a teenager. The truth is, such relationship can often bring power imbalance with the older person, that's the man in this case, dominating. The teenager will feel caged trapped she will never have her own voice the man will be the one to decide how the relationship goes how her own life goes it's a serious trap 
the teenager will also experience emotional distress there will be too much for her to handle because she has never experienced something like that before you're a teenager you're still a child you're growing hoping to understand who you are and then you're bringing kids into this world i don't know how she was able to maneuver i don't know how she was able to deal with that situation but it's not ideal for any teenager out there there's also the issue of missed opportunities because as a teenager you expect her to go through a certain milestone life is in stages there's some certain things you're expected to do and experience at a certain age in your life at a certain point in your life if you jump those stages you've missed it and you might never get them back if you miss those milestones they have consequences so hopping into a relationship or marriage at that age with an older person does have its consequences you're definitely going to feel left out you're definitely going to miss out on a lot of milestones isn't that supposed to be child abuse is the marriage age 16 isn't it 18 let me know in the comment section maybe i'm the one that's confused i truly do not believe that men realize how embarrassing they actually are there's no way on planet earth that you should be with your significant other even glancing at another girl because it's two things that's gonna go through that girl head that's being glanced at either one she's gonna be like oh i could have him if i wanted to or she's gonna be like yeah he be cheating on her like you putting everybody in your business because you can't keep your eyes to yourself so today I was in Target and I was just getting my cart and me just being aware of my surroundings, I noticed this guy that's with a woman and this with like a toddler, right? So it's giving family, you know? So all I see is him like looking like over his girl's shoulder to look back at me. So I'm like, anyways, like I don't pay him no mind. I continue with my shopping, not thinking anything of it. And next thing I know, he's, he's in the same aisle as me, but she's nowhere to be found. He's trying to hurry up and fast talk. He's like, oh, like, what's your name? I said, I don't have one. He's like, um, well, here, take my number down. He gives me like a balled up back of a receipt with like a number on it, right? So at first I was not gonna take it, but I'm like, no, 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 no. She has to know this, she has to know this. So I take it. I continue with my shopping, but I'm like very much like trying to find them again because he left, I didn't, I didn't, I finished my shopping. I'm checking out. I see them in self-checkout. I'm with the cashier. So I said, okay, cool. I don't have too many items. My cashier should be done very soon. I should be able to either catch them either over there or walking out. And that's exactly what happened. I'm walking past self-checkout and I'm like, hey, babes, excuse me. She looks at me. I'm just like, are you two together? Like in a relationship? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, he gave me his number and you were nowhere to be found. The only reason I took it was to show you that he gave me his number. I'm completely uninterested. You are super duper beautiful. I'm not too sure why he's doing these things, but good luck to you, babes. Have a good one. And I left. Like, it could have been being messy, but like, I don't feel like it was being messy, babes. I was trying to look out for that girl. Like, because that is so embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. And on a different note, I was having like dinner one day with like a couple, right? Like it was like a couple's date. And um, the girl that I'm sitting there with, like I just met her, but she just asked me randomly. She was like, um, do you allow like your boyfriend to like look at other girls while y'all are together? And I was like, girl, no, what? And she was like, yeah, I need to learn from you. I need to learn from you. So I was like, dude, what do you mean? Like, what you mean? Like, I'm not trying to be like, he be doing that with you, but I'm like, what you mean by that? And so he chimes in with his looking ass and he's like, I mean, like, what you mean? Like, why not? Like, you like he says something along the lines of like, you're looking at another girl to give her recognition for how good she looks like something like that. Like, I don't remember verbatim, but it was something along those lines. And I was like, so you're going to make another girl feel pretty? Why your girl is sitting right next to you? You not paying her no man? You looking at her? Excuse you? Like, I almost had to cuss him out. Like, you got to get up from this table, babe. Oh, I can't be around no energy like this. I just say, like, that girl probably knows she look good. You don't need to be sitting there with your girl making another girl feel like she look good or whatever you're trying to do because that's not a good look. Because on the flip side, I feel like if a man was sitting there with his girl and she was just looking at other guys, checking them out, not really paying him no mind, she has wandering eyes so bad, he would literally crash out. So 
I'm not even understand why we have this conversation. If you're in a relationship and you're not the only one your man is paying attention to, dating a man with wandering eyes may seem like a small issue at first until it starts to tear at the foundation of trust. Do you think being with a man that has wandering eyes should be considered a red flag or is it normal for people to just look for men to gaze at women for men to look at women admire women for me i think it's normal for people to look but staring at someone gazing for a long time that's where the problem is and taking it to the next level a bigger problem if you pay close attention men with wandering eyes often have commitment issues and the struggle with emotional presence in their relationship and the woman that they are in that relationship with are the ones feeling the brunt of it because them exhibiting wandering eyes looking around looking for other women to admire make the women they are with feel less of themselves and this creates room for emotional insecurity having a man abandon the lady he went out with i mean the woman he's dating that he went out with to chase another woman that is embarrassing and very disrespectful the truth is a man will like you all the way up until you start making sense of things a man will like you until you start asking too many questions a man will like you until you start actually using your brain they will like you until you start setting boundaries the second you start paying attention and knowing your worth and asking questions and using your brain all that like they have for you goes out the window. Me and this guy got along perfectly for a few years. Perfectly, no issues. And I realized that was because I was the easiest female for him to deal with. I never asked questions. I never was in his business. And I never really paid attention to a lot of stuff. So for that matter, we got along very well. The second I started paying attention to things that didn't sit right, didn't seem right, and started asking questions, that's when that man instantly got scared and his like for me started to fade away. The second I started saying, well, this doesn't make sense or, well, what is this about? But, but you're not supposed to be doing that to me or this is not how it's supposed to be. Instantly, all of that like he had for me went out the window. Everything started changing from then. So as long as you're being dumb, you're sitting there not asking questions, not using your brain too much and being the easy female for him to deal with he would be there forever because he would never leave you alone but the second you start using your brain that man gonna change and turn into exactly who he really was and that's somebody who never liked you from the start period i went on a date not too long ago and this girl humbled me humbled me with the utmost respect so we went to a spot it was nice it was quiet it was very very vibey i'm not gonna lie we had a lot of opportunity to talk and later on in the date she complimented me and said man you're making a really good first impression i'm liking the spot like you did a really good job thank you and i took that and ran with it and i told her like man well if you like this i got this next spot i'm gonna take you to and it got this it got that it got da 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 da, da, da. like i'm selling the dream and she basically cut me off and said that the biggest turnoff that men are unaware of is when you sell a dream and you don't follow through with it because she believes that mentally when a guy talks about it he's accomplished it but in reality he didn't do shit fuck me up I've always known that men are accomplishment driven but what I didn't know is that women are attracted to action so if you get into the mix of just talking about things and not actually doing them, you're turning her off while you think that you're actually doing something and now you don't know what you're doing wrong. We got to get up out of that as men. So don't talk about it. Just do it. Just show up and show out. Because when I did that and she was unexpected of that, she gave me a compliment and said that I was doing well. But the moment I got to talking too much, yeah, she sat me down and put me in my place. So, yeah, action, action, take action. I swear to God, if one more woman comes on this app and says what a wonderful, exceptional, phenomenal husband or boyfriend she has, and then describes him as kind, nice, reliable, responsible, cleans, does laundry, helps around the house, is good and kind with his kids, plays with his kids, never shouts, doesn't get angry and aggressive, communicates, buys flowers, pays for things, opens doors, wants to celebrate holidays, remembers birthdays, remembers anniversaries, is patient, is understanding. And then we all collectively applaud with joy. I'm going to fucking lose my shit. Because you're telling me that this man is considered to be exceptional phenomenal and wonderful and you cannot believe to have met him 
and to have him as your boyfriend or as your husband and you just described a standard normal human person the bar is so fucking low for men that describing a normal person a person a human who displays normal human traits is considered to be phenomenal is considered to be fantastic oh my god my husband is unbelievable for this for doing things all women are doing every single day for portraying characters that we all do to people we don't even know to strangers to co-workers to family members this is where we're at he cleans he opens the door he remembers your birthday he cuddled with you when you were sad he bought a cupcake because you were on your period he remembered and celebrated valentine's day with you these are deal breakers nowadays these are the things that we're calling men wonderful and exceptional for no oh, i don't know about you guys my husband is absolutely unbelievable and then says he does laundry oh he, he's such a good dad oh how, how come he's so kind he plays with the kids he knows the teachers names he does everything for them he dresses them bathes them is he not supposed to do that are we all not doing that as responsibilities that a normal person would do the bar is so fucking low so low a good number of women out there are lowering the standard in relationships and marriages just to avoid being alone but is lowering your standard the solution to the problem settling for less is not key to true happiness the society has conditioned women to accept the bare minimum from men that's exactly what she just explained women are excited when men do what normal human beings do when a man assists his child women are excited oh my husband does this that is what he's supposed to do because he's a human it's just like a normal human being having the basic survival skills and women are applauding that person for that this can be likened to employment if you get employed you have a job description you're supposed to do some certain things you're supposed to carry out some certain task and you should not expect anyone to applaud you for doing your job so being a father you're expected to do some certain things so i think women we have to stop accepting bare minimum from men i understand the society is responsible for this heavy conditioning when a man acts like a human being in a relationship women are excited and they're happy to praise the man oh he's different oh he's different what exactly is differentiating him what exactly did he do that is out of this world that normal human beings don't do please let's stop that and let's start holding men accountable and raising our bars raising the standards so men can rise to the occasion if they're really interested in being in that relationship or marriage because as women if we continue to give in into this societal conditioning and encourage men with low effort men that make no much effort in relationship and marriages it's going to be very much detrimental to us on the long run click this video here to watch how men use baby to trap women in relationships and i'll see you on the next one Bye bye